Hi, so this right here is Xiaomi's all new laptop, which is the Xiaomi Notebook Pro 120G. And I know for a fact that a lot of students are eyeing this laptop, considering the kind of package it offers at just Rs. 75,000. Now, while I've already reviewed this laptop in depth, a lot of you guys have been asking me to compare it with the Apple MacBook Air M1, which although retails for Rs. 1 lakh, if you're a student, you can actually get it for Rs. 90,000. And then if you factor in some card offers, we can actually bring this price down to quite a comparable range. So for a student, which of these laptops makes more sense? Find out. This is one from GTR, and you're watching my in-depth comparison of the Xiaomi Notebook Pro 120G versus the Apple MacBook Air M1. Let's get started. So first things first, let's start by talking about the design here. For the most part, they look super similar, with the Xiaomi laptop being a bit bigger, which can be a good or bad thing, depending upon the screen size that you fancy. Nonetheless, they both should fit inside your backpacks easily without any issues. Now, both the laptops are designed with premium materials and the build quality isn't going to be an issue on either of them. There is a weight difference of about 200 grams, which on paper isn't much, but is one thing to be noted if you do plan to use the laptop on your lap for the majority of time. Now, in terms of I.O., while the MacBook Air M1 comes with two Thunderbolt 3 ports along with a 3.5 headphone jack, Xiaomi offers a single Thunderbolt 4 port. Additionally, it also comes equipped with all the essential ports that you would need on a daily basis, thus eliminating the need to carry a dongle at all times. All right, now moving on to the displays, usually it's very hard to beat Apple in the display department. However, I have to say that the Xiaomi Notebook does make a good case for itself. First off, the panels are the same resolution. However, due to the slightly bigger size, Xiaomi has ever so slightly lower PPI. With that being said, you probably won't notice it much. Now, both the panels get very bright and are equally color accurate as well. The one advantage that Xiaomi has is that it also comes with a 120Hz refresh rate, which makes everything so much smoother. See, Mac OS's animations can only do so much to keep up with the smoothness that Xiaomi offers at a hardware level, so that's quite commendable. Another thing that's worth highlighting is that the Xiaomi laptop features a matte finish, while the MacBook comes with a glossy finish. Now, which one you prefer is totally your take. The glossy finish definitely requires a lot more upkeep. You have to constantly keep cleaning it. But the advantage is that the content looks far more crisper. Everything looks more vibrant on this panel as compared to the Xiaomi notebook, which like despite having the same level of color accuracy does look a tad bit washed out in comparison to the MacBook Air M1 simply because of the difference in terms of textures. Moving on, we have the audio department. Now the Xiaomi Notebook Pro comes with bottom firing speakers, while on the MacBook Air M1, you have speakers on each side of the keyboard. As you would expect, the audio experience on the MacBook Air is much better. Now it's not to say that the audio output of the Xiaomi laptop is bad, it's just that Apple is in a different ball game altogether. This thing also has support for Dolby Atmos, which really comes in handy if you do plan on watching a lot of content on this laptop. In fact, here's an audio test for you guys to check out. Moving on, webcams have become a very important factor these days and both the laptops come with a 720p webcam on board. Now, as far as the quality is concerned, it's quite comparable on both. I think uh, the MacBook Air has more natural tones while Xiaomi has more saturated, like my skin looks a bit more orangish here. So yeah, that's the thing. But essentially, neither of them are amazing by any means. And as far as the mic quality is concerned, you guys can judge for yourself. Both the laptops have their own advanced technologies, but from what I can say, I think that the MacBook Air definitely has a better mic setup as well. All right, so moving along, as a student, the keyboard and touchpad experience are definitely two things that are going to matter a lot because of course, as a student, you will be doing a lot of typing and of course, you need a touchpad to interact with the system. Now, when you're comparing the Xiaomi Notebook or to be honest, any Windows laptop in this price segment with the Apple MacBook Air, it's already a lost challenge. The MacBook Air's keyboard and touchpad experience is unmatchable, especially in this price segment of under rupees 1 lakh. With that being said, it's not to say that the experience offered by the Xiaomi Notebook Pro is bad by any means. In fact, as a student, you would love it. It's more than enough. 
एंड इवन एज अ टाइमिंग एंड दूजिएस्ट वाइल आई डू फील दैट देर इज एन एविडेंट लैक ऑफ क्वेश्चनिंग अंडर द कीज द शाउमी नोटबुक्स की बोर्ड इन इट सेल्फ एज एन ओवरऑल पैकेज इज स्टिल प्रिटी गुड एंड द टच पैड डज ऑफ अ ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस ओवरऑल सो यू वॉन्ट हैव एनी थिंग टू कंप्लेन अबाउट All right now let's talk about performance and right off the bat i just want to clarify something i won't be dwelling too much into the idea of mac os versus windows first of all that's a topic for another day but more importantly as a student both of these things should not bother you so much like i'll be very honest even as a normal user or a creative user i switch from mac os to windows on a daily basis like the my office machine is a macbook pro while at home i use a windows gaming machine and of course i review all these windows laptops and trust me switching between these machines is not that big of a hassle apart from a slight differences here and there and as a student until and unless you have to rely on some specific software suit that runs inside a specific operating system either of them should be more than enough to satisfy all of your needs so now reading of the spec sheet the macbook air comes with the apple m1 processor coupled with 8 gb of unified memory and 256 gb of ssd storage on the other hand the xiaomi notebook pro offers the 12th gen intel core i5 12450h processor coupled with 16 gb of lpddr5 ram and a 512 gb nvme ssd Now looking at cross platform benchmarks like Geekbench and 3D Mark the scores are on your screen and the overall performance is quite comparable while the Apple M1 definitely has the edge when it comes to CPU scores the Xiaomi Notebook Pro definitely has an edge in terms of the graphical processing thanks to its dedicated MX550 GPU Now the day to day performance of both the laptops is amazing working with multiple desktops and using multiple apps simultaneously isn't going to be an issue on either of them Also another thing that I'd like to highlight that as a student of course you would need a good suite of office apps as is the case with Apple Apple just by default brings its office suite on every macOS device you don't have to pay anything extra for that so that's good on the Xiaomi notebook pro the good thing is that the laptop does come pre installed with office home and student 2021 which is obviously going to be beneficial if you're a student one thing while we on the topic of comparison of performance Of course, this is a software limitation as well. But yeah, you can game on the Xiaomi Notebook Pro. Like, let's be honest, the Mac, like MacBooks, are not designed for gaming. Sure, you can use Apple Arcade and play those games that you want to, if you really want to. But let's be more realistic. If you're really into gaming, of course, this is not a gaming laptop. But the MX550 GPU does offer pretty good gaming numbers. So, as a student, this laptop will appeal to you if you are using it, like carrying it to college every day, and still want to game a little bit on the side. Lastly, there's the battery life. Now, the MacBook Air M1 offers a battery backup of over eight hours, while the Xiaomi offers a backup of close to seven hours, which is quite comparable. Now, while these are stock numbers, one big advantage that the MacBook Air has is that this thing has almost zero idle drain. This is very important, which is the fact that I mean, you probably would have already heard that Mac users hardly ever shut down their laptop. They just close the lid. The system hibernates very well, and the fact that this thing actually comes with an ARM processor means that you can just open your laptop after two three days. Everything will launch as it was when you closed it. With the Xiaomi Notebook Pro, the difference is there. There is significant idle drain. It's not a lot but definitely noticeable in comparison to something that's negligible however xiaomi more than makes up for it thanks to its fast charging tech this thing comes with a 100 watt charger bundled inside the box while the macbook air comes with just a 30 watt uh, usb pd charger speaking of which both the laptops do support usb pd so you can essentially use any usb pd charger to juice this thing up which brings us to the pricing the xiaomi notebook pro 120g is priced at rupees 75000 as for students The Apple MacBook Air M1 is priced at rupees ninety thousand on the official Apple Store. I'm not talking about Flipkart, Amazon, or other stores. That's a different thing. But I'm just comparing official pricing right now. So seventy-five thousand versus ninety thousand. That's a price difference of rupees fifteen thousand without any of those card offers or stuff like that. Now, while I would still say that Apple manages to justify its price tag. of being 15000 rupees higher because you do get a slightly more premium and a more optimized experience as a student the xiaomi notebook offers more value for money basically you get a portable design no hassle of a dongle a reliable and smooth display a very capable keyboard and touchpad smooth performance and still a pretty good and comparable battery backup so yeah at the end of the day while the cost of the macbook air m1 is still justified as a student 
like i would strongly recommend that you pick the xiaomi notebook pro because well it's just better value and well that was it if you found this video helpful make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome tech content till then this is one from gtr and i'll see you in the next one